number of coronavirus cases climbing as tens of thousands of people have been tested. And now some doctors are signaling a shift in their testing strategy. Not every single person in the United States needs to get tested. Health officials in New York City and Los Angeles are recommending doctors avoid testing patients, except in cases where the result would significantly change treatment. When you go in and get tested, you are consuming personal protective equipment, masks and gowns. This comes as health care workers are sounding the alarm, saying medical supplies like masks and gloves are starting to run out. We absolutely feel like we are in this alone as doctors, nurses, paramedics, and even hospitals. The White House Coronavirus Task Force says those much-needed supplies are on the way. HHS just placed a for, for an order for hundreds of millions of N95 masks that will be being made available to health care providers across the country. Meanwhile, President Trump urging Americans to heed warnings from federal health officials to slow the spread of coronavirus. Every American has a role to play in defending our nation from this invisible, horrible enemy. On Saturday, more than one-fifth of Americans were under orders to stay home. That's about 75 million people in Connecticut, Illinois, New York, and California, where authorities say only essential workers are allowed away from home. Stay at home and save lives. This is a time of shared national sacrifice. But I'm Melissa Rainey reporting. Treasure our loved ones. Vice President Pence and his wife Karen tested negative for the coronavirus today. A staff member in Pence's office tested positive this week, prompting the second couple to find out if they were infected. Well, the first rapid diagnostic.